Hello and welcome back to another Magic Arena video. I am Magic Sven and today we are playing Mono Black Charbelcher. Now Jim Davis was playing a list kind of like this in Modern, but it was also running like Death Shadow and some other weird stuff. So I cut the, the Death Shadow, obviously fitted it to be in Timeless instead of Modern. And so this is a Charbelcher deck. If you haven't seen this card before, four mana and then a three mana tap reveal cards from top of your library until you reveal land card. Jaw, Goblin Charbelcher deals damage equal to the number of cards revealed this way. So we have all these modal double face cards which do not count as lands. So this deck technically has zero lands. So when you activate Goblin Charbelcher, it just always does like 40 damage to the opponent, which is a win. So the rest of the deck is like discard. We've got two Inquisitions, four Thoughtseize, four copies of Grief along with two reanimates, and we also get to play Malakir Rebirth as one of our double-faced cards. Four Dark Ritual just speeds everything way, way up. We get our one Demonic Tutor, and we've got some removal here. We've got three copies of Fatal Push and one Feed the Swarm because Leyline of Sanctity is kind of around in the format, so nice to have one copy of this that I can tutor for. And then we've got a four Mishra's Bobble, and four Chromatic Star. Now these are nice artifacts, they just kind of like let you keep churning through the deck, but they also give you something to bargain to beseech the mirror. So what you can do is bargain one of those artifacts and either find the Goblin Charbelcher, or if you have a Beseech and Charbelcher in hand, what you can do is Beseech with Bargain to find Iron Craig Feet, cast the Iron Craig Feet off of the Bargain, off the Beseech, and then cast Goblin Charbelcher and activate it all in the same turn. So that's the deck. Let's take it on the ladder and see how it does in Timeless. All right, we got Mono Black Belcher in Timeless, and we got a Thoughtseize hand and two um, Charbelchers in hand, basically. We're going to keep this one. We're on the play. Get to lead on the Trawler, untapped, Thoughtseize, start at a cool of 15 life. Let's go, pay three, Thoughtseize you. And looks like we're up against the Scourge of Historic, the Ocelot Pride is here, Guide of Souls. Okay, so we have to be wary of Static Prison. I'm gonna take the Guide of Souls here. Plan on pushing the Ocelot. And I'll need to thought seize them before I try to char belch. Like I can't let them play uh, the static prison on my char belcher. That would not be good. Um. Okay. So let's push the ocelot. Just don't want them to get like out of hand over there. And just want to draw lands now. The stars okay as long as we can draw lands. Uh, they're fetching, which probably means they drew like a Johnny or the Raptor here, which is a pretty nasty. No, it looks like we're just doing a little surveilling and we're putting a land into the graveyard. Any further plays doesn't look like it. Mm, okay, so we're going to Thoughtseize and take that prism here. Get out of here, if you would. And I'll play Chromatic Star, Mishra's Bobble. Um, hmm. I don't hate bobbling myself, but I'm just going to see what they're doing. They got their NT. We drew a land. That's good. All right. Come on, Dark Ritual. Come on, a Dark Ritual. Oh, they have the arena too, so they get to haste it up. NT comes down. Haste, probably discard a discharge. Though I guess they don't really need lands either, so either way seems fine. And we're on the clock. They drew the static prism. Prison. Prison. They're gonna take out my star. Okay. Rude, but fine. Alright, we're gonna play this tapped. And we're gonna play bobble. And how much of a rush are we in? About to find out. I'm not gonna do anything yet. They're cracking, probably getting another elegant parlor, I guess. No, just planes, okay. Three, attack me, discard, discharge. Uh, 
Yep, resolves. We get a monkey into play. Ouch. So, if that's the case, I have to win next turn. So I just need to draw untapped land here. Ooh, that works, that works. All right, Dark Ritual. Beseech the mirror with a bargain. Sack the bauble. Feet. Cast the feet. Charbelcher. And Belcher. Just like we drew it up. Oh my goodness, just like we drew it up. What do we got here? Kind of a weak hand. I like push against Luris decks. They're probably um, burn. If they're burn, I think I want to be a little faster. Okay, this seems better. We're going to keep, we're going to put the reanimate to the bottom. Play some tap lands. Swamp, that's not burn. All right, um, in that case, we're going to play Hogramalling Attacked. Your lightning bolt sleeves have thrown me off, friend. What are we instead? Rakdos stuff? A creature demonic tutor. Okay. Hopefully we're not getting comboed. Um, I think I'll play a predation tapped. Just play out this bobble. I'm not going to crack it yet. Bobble's fine. They're going to look at our cards. And are we going to get Thought Seized? We're definitely giving away what we're up to over here, so... I mean, a Thought Seize is certainly bad for us. Just Bowmasters, huh? Sure. I think I'll just push your Bowmasters. I accept your one damage. Alright, you draw your extra card. We draw ours, they reveal Thought Seize to them. Or rather, we reveal Thought Seize to them. Let's take a look. Intent, Ritual, Ritual, Bolt, Bolt, Bolt. Okay, I think I'm taking the Intent here. This is, I would say, Storm. Yeah, let's take the Intent. Put this into play tapped. Pass the turn. So the only... There's two live draws in my deck. Dark Ritual. Oh, speaking of Dark Ritual, here it comes. They must have drawn something to just fire off a bunch of rituals here. Oh, they're just putting Luris in hand. Sure. Luris. For the bobble. Okay. Luris Bobble stuff is kind of a reason to crack push. Yeah, I think that's enough that I want to uh, push this guy here. I just don't want him to go too totally crazy. I mean, I guess they've still got a lot of turns. But they're just trying to draw out of it right now. Okay, we drew a push. I'm gonna play this for three life. Belcher, say go. Yeah, they used all their dark rituals there, so I'm like less scared about them just going off and destroying me. All right, one. Bobble, sure. Where's the thought seizes, friend? They're not here. They're not here. They were not in the opening hand and they've got nothing to stop the Belcher now that it's down. Pretty sick hand here we've got. We're down, I'd say, a land, though. Gonna keep it, though. Um, what do we pitch? So, I'm gonna go Grief, Pitch, Beseech, Fell the Profane, Reanimate the Grief. Yeah, I think that's the line right there. Alright, pay three. Grief, Pitch, Beseech. Want to keep the Malachar Rebirth for the land. What are we on? Merfolk. Okay. This is tap creatures. And I just, so I just want to kill the ones that 
speed up the clock. So I'm either on Shoreline Scout or Master of the Pearl Trident. I think I take the Master. Of course, I'll just reanimate the Grief, and now I take the Shoreline Scout. That'll keep them off Flare of Denial, too. Untap land? No. Alright. Tap land, Thought Seize, you. Drew a Trickster. They drew a land. So we'll take the Trickster. Yeah, probably. That is probably the end of that one. Alright, we'll go Dark Ritual, Char Belcher, hit ya. Boom, I need to draw a land here. Alright, Harbringer of the Sea. That is fine with me. I'm gonna play this as a land and a Belcha. Good game. <laughs> yeah, the Harbringer actually like let us go off a turn earlier because our land came into play on tap, so that's a pretty funny interaction. Nice, got Merfolk. Excellent hand here. We can go Belcher on turn two. Gonna keep that one. I'd like another untapped land. That's the draw I want. And they are on energy. Hello, friend. Um, so do I just play this as a tapped land? Probably. Go to be Belgian next turn. Well, actually... Hmm. They're gonna make some tokens. I think I'd try to wait and do it all in one turn. Next turn I can play... Yeah, so they're gonna hit me for one, two, three. I play this tapped. Play Chromatic Star. Actually, what if I play this so I can push something? Play Chromatic Star. And then next turn I go Dark Ritual, Beseech, Sack the Star. Yeah, okay. So we pay this, untapped. Pay three, play Chromatic Star. Pass the turn. Now we're hoping they're not gonna like static prison my star. That seems like it'd be pretty unlikely. What do we got? Bolt me, fair. So they're just gonna try and speed the clock up as much as possible, which makes a lot of sense. I want them to just play like a Johnny here. Tap land is a good start. Blood Crypt is a little scarier. Unstable Amulet is nice. Okay, so that resolves. Then we'll just push the guide. We've already made their land drop. They can't really do anything. So we take two more damage. And then we get to go off next turn. Dark Ritual. They only have priority probably because of the amulet. Cast with Bargain. Sack the Star. Go get our Ritual. Could they have anything? I don't think so. Wait, what just happened? <laughs> Oh my goodness, we just drew the Iron Craig feet off of the star. Oh my god, okay. So now we play Char Belcher. And really hope they don't kill us. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that just happened. Just drew the feet off of the star. Oh, that's so bad. That's so bad. <laughs> Alright, Unstable Amulet the second which I'm sure they'll be searching for whatever they're trying to search for here. Another land, probably not it. I think we're still okay here. Feels like we should still be okay here. They're looking for Prism. Uh, discharge my cat. 
Oh, they found it. They found the prism. That's so bad. Oh, that's so bad. No. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> Drew, the... <laughs> Drew the feet. Drew the feet. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. They say good game. They say good game. Yeah, I tend to agree. That looks like the end of it for us. Um, yeah, Fatal Push. We'll kill the Ocelot Pride. Yeah, good game. <laughs> Just do something. <laughs> I can't believe we drew the feet. So terrible. Oh my gosh. Alright. Cast the Ajani. Attack with the cats. Two damage. Four damage coming at me. <laughs> Bolt ya. <laughs> sure, why not, friend? <laughs> Stupid star. Oh my god, I can't believe that's just what went down. Mm, this one's a little on the edge, but I think it's got to be a keep. We've got Dark Ritual, which really pulls it all together. A bunch of Thought Seizes. Yeah, let's hold on to it. Starting at 5 life. Why not? Against a Timmy Power Gamer. P3, Thought Seize you. What's up? Not dead after all. Bunch of reanimations. I think I want to take the Grave Expectations. Don't want to pitch cast the Grief. When they've got reanimate. Tap land. You bet. That was their draw for the turn. So let's just pay three. Dark Ritual. Belcher? Pass the turn. Yeah! <laughs> That's it. That's it. We have won the game. They didn't know we didn't have an untapped land, but that's none of their business. Pretty happy with how Belcher played out this time around. A few cards I wasn't super happy with. The pushes seemed a little bit not that exciting. The stars were not amazing. I, obviously, it did lose me the game in one of those matchups, but I think I'd be interested in trying out something like Chalice of the Void here. And I wouldn't hate having like a sweeper like Toxic Deluge as a one-off to find with our Beseech the Mirror, just so we can clean up all those uh, Boros decks that are running around. So anyways, hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Take care, all.